routine while I'm here at Ebisu is I grab one of these Akos uh, yogurt packs and then I buy one of these small um, Japanese cereal packs from the convenience store. You can get this all at the convenience store. And then I put the cereal into the yogurt and this thing is amazing. I can't recommend this enough. And then uh, we also got a banana and of course the famous pulp orange juice. Yeah, baby. You aren't a real man if you can't drink pulp with your OJ. Welcome to today's video where we are here at Nishi. Kind of Nishi long actually. They've shortened it though. But you're able to do the FD long line. Super cool. Anyways, we're at Summer Matsuri, which is probably the quietest I've ever seen a Matsuri at Ebisu. Most likely because uh, Formula Drift is on the same weekend. So a lot of the guys that you'd normally see here are all part of teams and stuff like that that are all competing this weekend. So a lot of them can't make it. But still, a bunch of really cool drivers here. We got the crew here. We're driving with the Doink Squad boys again. Um, we're gonna go out and practice this FD long line. Should be some fun. Just got the bumper put back on and uh, I mean it's a little bit more cracked and chipped on the bottom here where it fell off and hit the track but honestly it's still in one piece no problem so we'll see how much longer this bumper lasts hopefully it lasts till the end of material but most likely not um, but otherwise yeah the car's doing pretty good uh, we're gonna go drive a school course and probably a bit of north for a bit the weather we're really hoping it holds up today we know tomorrow typhoons coming so it's only a matter of time before everything gets drenched in rain which I'm honestly happy about because it's so hot at the moment. We kind of need something to cool it all down. Okay, so I just got to school course and we're gonna get head out, maybe do a few trains. Should be some fun. We'll hand the camera to someone to film for us. Okay. Hopefully we don't hit the wall or my bumper. That'd be great.
This is a perfect example of when people keep saying that, oh, the age of the missiles is over. Well, this guy's rolled his car like four times, still managed to like pull the roof back out, weld it all together and still keep drifting. Wait till you see this thing. <laughs> that thing is insane. Missiles will never die. You guys know how much I love driving Minami in the wet, so let's go out and see what it's like. are insane. Oh, oh. oh straight into the tire wall. Alright, it is now time for some Nishi short, which means tandem mayhem crazy stuff. <laughs> from the Nishi trains, but don't worry, we're gonna get back out there in a little bit. But today, we're gonna to be doing something really cool. We're gonna be working with Ling Long Tire and testing one of their new tires. And I'm here with Ling Long Tire's technical director, Lance. Lance, why don't you tell me a little bit about these tires and what makes them special? Okay, this is our new tire for next year company race. So today, we're gonna to test the tire and to see how it's a performance. So you will be the first guy to test this tire. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. All right, so they're definitely a higher tread wear than I'm used to, um, but he was explaining that the sidewall is super, super stiff. So it's gonna have a lot of side bite, and if you run at really low pressures, it won't DB. So um, I've got this at about 3.1 bar right now. We'll heat them up, see where they're at and where they feel, and go from there. Dude, thank you so much. Let's get it. All right, let's head out and see how these new Ling Long tires feel. Gonna put some heat into them first, do a bit of a warm up, and then uh, we'll see. But I can already tell just from driving around, like in the car park, definitely feels like you've got a little bit more grip than usual.
that's made. Just a bit more grip. Oh, that's entirely different. Thing I want you guys to pay attention to is just how these tires react on the car. The first thing I noticed is at the top of the hill with the clutch kick entry, how effortless they initiated, how easy it was to get them spinning at first. But then in drift, the grip was there. Whenever I was on throttle and trying to pull out, it was there and it felt incredible. The way the car handled and how it controlled from side to side transitions was just beautiful. And I think it's attributed to just how well these tires have been designed specifically for drifting. So good job Linglon. I'm really looking forward to trying them out again soon. Hi guys. different than everyone else. It's it. Because <laughs> I got the link in there. Huh? Oh, it's so hot. Everyone, let's encourage him to do bad things. Hey, come on, get the wall. Come on. Whoa. This is what Smith Series about. <laughs> this is what we call the bumper walk of shame here at school course. <laughs> All right, Rohab's just gone out. He said he's gonna do a solo lap and put on a show for us. Let's see. Here he comes, baby. Oh, damn! Go reverse! Come on, Rohab, get closer to that wall, baby. Come on. I want a wall tap. Here he comes. <laughs> We're waiting. Come on. currently night time and I'm just arriving back at the track after taking a little break and refreshing at the hotel and enjoying the onsen and dinner and whatnot. Hello. Arigatou gozaimasu. 
So my plan is to head to North Course and do a few laps in the in the dark and enjoy. Hopefully filming there is not too bad with the low light. We'll see. All right, we are at North Course. We're gonna do some driving. I don't know if the GoPro can see anything, but we'll do a few laps and put it in the video. after a bunch of driving with some friends and it's so crazy just because of like COVID and also that this weekend's the same weekend as a Formula Drift event so a lot of guys, no one's here. Like North Course is empty. No one's pitted there. It is completely empty and I've never been to a Maturi and seen that before. It is, it's honestly so quiet and dead. It's, it's kind of insane. So we're out here at School Course now. This looks so eerie. The Milky's out here shredding. See if you'll go for a wall. I'm on! <laughs> Keeping his distance. I love drifting at night, it is so much fun, but usually at Drift Materials, I don't actually have the time to do it because I gotta go back to the hotel, edit a video for you guys, then try to get a good night's sleep so I can come back and drive the next day. But it worked out really well. We managed to get ahead with uh, our little filler video of checking out the um, unrecoverable Super again. But still nonetheless, like it's been really good just like focusing on driving a whole bunch. So I'm hoping that the video turns out good, but if not, it's just gonna be one really long Materi video that I'm sure a lot of you guys that are really technical and into drifting are gonna enjoy. Okay, we'll wipe that lens clean. But yeah, it is definitely a wet day today, but we're still gonna make the best of it. And Mikey's out there killing it right now, looking good. So yeah, we're gonna go to Nishi Short in a little bit, get a bunch of driving in, but it's always cool to watch these guys go crazy. I did a fair bit of driving already on Minami today, and that was awesome. Jump. All right, let's head to Nishi Shot. We got friends here with us today too. Emi-chan, Tomoya, and a couple other guys decided to come up from Tokyo and Yokohama area. Hey guys. She does a lot of the modeling for the site and all the merch, so it'll be pretty cool. Damn, that looks sketchy as. Anyways, let's head out to Nishi.
since around last night, I've noticed that the car was steering a little bit weird and I knew that my steering wheel was a little bit different and a different angle, but the car still kind of drove straight and I was able to compensate with it. Um, but I really broke this thing bad. The mount on the power steering rack is like non-existent anymore. I'm gonna put the camera there so you guys can see it. And then I'm gonna move the steering wheel and you're gonna see what I mean, but the whole bracket is ripped off the subframe. Look how messed up that is. It's completely torn off the subframe. Is this a common thing for JZXs to do? Have I just been flicking this thing too hard? Holy crap, I have never seen anything like that. Man, I want my S chassis back. <laughs> so yeah, that's me for today. 329, well, 330 now. 30 minutes left in Maturi. We nearly made it to the end. <laughs> and uh, at least, at least though, we still have both our bumpers. Yes, we did lose the rear bumper on the first couple laps of the uh, of Maturi, uh, Nishi Long, but nothing's wrong with it. It just fell off. We re-zip tied her on and she was good. But uh, that's that. <laughs> that is that. What an epic Maturi. I've never seen that happen. Guys, in the comments, if you have a JZX, and have experience with that. Have you ever seen that happen before? Please let me know. Rohab, what did your brother just do? Oh, Holy yeah. crap, he is deep in there. It was the funniest thing too. What do you mean? He actually connected it for the first time. Yeah? And then I just saw him go slowly straight into it. <laughs> no, dude, he is deep in there. Yeah. That's funny though. That's literally the same spot Adam went into when he got tapped in there. No, he, he wasn't even drifting. He just he, straight he in, stopped. understeered. He stopped and drove straight into it. <laughs> oh no, that's the worst. Yeah, no idea what he was thinking. Oh, and this is the end of Maturi. A very, very wet Nishi with probably the, I've never seen so little cars here at the end of Maturi. It's so insane. I can't wait till borders open again. Good to see people out here still enjoying it and having fun though. But there's literally like a river here going across the track. A couple inches deep. Watch this. There's so much water there. Comes Walter down the hill. Looking pretty good. He's improved so much this weekend. He's got the same angle kit as I do now. I helped him dial in the suspension last night on North Course. He's doing really well. All right, now comes the fun time of trying to limp this thing back to a place where Fustol can pick it up. <laughs> oh, oh, it is so broken. I'm just gonna take my time and go real slow. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that happen before to a power steering rack. Like bushes and stuff on like an S chassis, like wearing out and breaking but never like the whole stay on the subframe breaking and ripping off like that. I, then again, like I flick this thing really aggressively and really quickly. So I'm kind of not surprised that happens. So we'll definitely strengthen that so it won't be a future problem for sure. But um, I'm just really happy we had a really good day. We didn't break anything and that's, uh, that's all that matters at the end of the day, right? Sam back from the future here and apparently I forgot to film an outro for um, the Mitsuri video. But I'm also not surprised because if you watched any of the Twitch streams during the weekend, yes I do have a Twitch channel, go check it out in the description. We've been having some really good IRL streams lately and the channel hopefully should be getting partners soon. So that's awesome. But before we continue anymore, I want to remind you guys. I saved my day passes. I have three right now. Two day ones up here, and then the Mitsuri pass here um, that I'm gonna laminate and sign and throw into three random orders uh, that go through in the next 24 hours. Also, anyone who ordered during the last couple videos will also go in as well, but three random people are gonna get these passes from Ebisu. Um, I'm just gonna throw them in. As long as you've bought at least a shirt, you will be going in, I'll pick a random one of you guys that'll get that. I hope that makes sense. I'm a little bit of a mess right now, trying to get this video out. I know I missed a day, but once again, if you watch Twitch streams, you'll understand. That's all I'm gonna say. Thanks for watching guys. Smash that like button, rise the comment and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, next one's also a banger and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, ciao mata.